Meiosis occurs in specialized diploid cells that give rise to haploid gametes. During meiosis, two successive rounds of cell division occur following only one round of DNA replication. During meiosis 1, the first round of cell division, the number of chromosomes reduces in number from diploid to haploid. During meiosis 2, the second round of cell division, the sister chromatids separate. In most cases, both meiosis 1 and 2 are accompanied by cytokinesis, so that the end result of meiosis of a single diploid cell is the production of four haploid cells. Prior to meiosis, all chromosomes are duplicated in a process similar to chromosome duplication prior to mitosis. The members of a pair of sister chromatids, one from each parent, are homologous chromosomes. Outside the nucleus are two centrosomes, each consisting of a pair of centrioles. The two centrosomes are produced by the duplication of a single centrosome during premiotic interphase. The centrosomes serve as microtubule organizing centers. Microtubules extend radially from centrosomes, forming an aster. The first phase of meiosis 1 is prophase 1. During this phase, the already duplicated chromosomes begin to coil and homologous chromosomes align loosely. The alignment of the chromosomes leads to crossing over, the reciprocal exchange of DNA between homologous chromosomes. If genetic differences exist between the homologs, then new combinations of genes are produced in the sister chromatids. At this point, each homologous chromosome pair is visible as a bivalent, tetrad, a tight grouping of four chromatids, two of them sisters and two of them non-sisters. The sites of crossing over are seen as crisscross chromatids and are called chiasmata, singular chiasma. The nucleolus and nuclear envelope disappear in late prophase 1, allowing the meiotic spindle to enter the nucleus. Prophase 1 is the longest phase of meiosis, typically consuming 90% of the time for the two divisions. By metaphase 1, the nuclear envelope has completely disappeared, the centrosomes are at opposite poles of the cell, and the microtubules are attached to the kinetochores of the homologs. The homologs now become aligned on a plane equidistant from the poles called the metaphase plate. In anaphase 1, homologous chromosomes disjoin and each pair of sister chromatids migrates to an opposite pole as a result of the action of the spindle. The sister chromatids remain attached at their centromeres. A key difference between mitosis and meiosis is that sister chromatids remain joined after metaphase in meiosis 1, whereas in mitosis they separate. During telophase 1, a nuclear envelope forms around each chromosome set, the spindle disappears, and cytokinesis usually follows. The result is two cells each with a haploid set of chromosomes, each consisting of two chromatids. Meiosis 2 is very similar to mitosis. Prior to the start of prophase 2, each centriole divides into two. During prophase 2, the sister chromatids condense while the nuclear envelope disappears and the spindle apparatus form. In metaphase 2, the sister chromatids attached to kinetochore microtubules align on the metaphase plate, much as chromosomes do in mitosis. During anaphase 2, sister chromatids separate at their centromeres. The separated chromosomes, now called daughter chromosomes, are pulled to opposite poles. In telophase 2, a nuclear envelope forms around the chromosome sets at each pole while the chromosomes become more extended. Cytokinesis then occurs, producing four daughter cells, gametes in animals, each with a haploid set of chromosomes. Because of crossing over, some chromosomes are seen to have recombined segments of the original parental chromosomes. The end products of meiosis are four haploid cells. Every cell has one copy of each chromosome set, but these copies are not identical to the original parental chromosome due to crossing over in prophase 1.